Okay, hello everyone and welcome to this new video concerning MongoDB queries. So this is the third video of its kind about MongoDB queries specifically and it is another video in the comprehensive MongoDB tutorials playlist for beginners. So this playlist has everything you need for, for MongoDB from A to Z. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Otherwise, if you're only interested in the contents of this video, then you may proceed and only learn what you, ne what you need to do. So in this video, we'll cover specifically querying uh, arrays within um, the documents. So instead of simply querying the shallow fields inside documents, we're going to query the arrays and the content within them. So let's just get started. So this is MongoDB Compass, as you probably know, and I have MongoDB Shell just to demonstrate how we can type some queries into the shell. However, you can do this through Compass only. All right, so I'm going to use a sample collection, which is product. So if you've seen my videos, we've used this sample more than once. All right, so what are arrays? Where are they in the MongoDB uh, scheme of things? So right here, we have some arrays of objects. They're arrays of uh, values, I'm sorry. So these are strings. So this type is an array containing two strings, and it has accessory and charger. Four is an array containing three strings. And right here... It contains five. So this is how basically um, arrays look like within MongoDB. And what we want to do is that we want to query these arrays. So we want conditions on these arrays contents, on the things within them. So this is what we're going to do right now. So the first thing, we want to match an exact array. So this is pretty intuitive. So you know how we were matching, um, let's say here, we were matching, let's say, name with AC3 phone. And here, we were just matching one field with its value. Now we want to match the array. So we want to match the entire thing. So let's see here, type, it has accessory and charger. So if we say type, and we write our own array and say accessory charger. And then we close the query and we find. And this is the document we get, and we, it matched, MongoDB matched this document. So matching is pretty intuitive because we already covered it. Okay, so just a quick reminder that we can do the exact same thing using shell. So the first thing we have to do is use our current database. And then we want to actually type db.collectionName.find. And this is where we specify our condition that we copied and we enter. And so this is the same document that we have here. So this is just an analogy between the shell queries and the filters in, Mong in MongoDB Compass. So this is simply the condition that we put here. All right, so now we know how to match the arrays. How do we, ha how do we filter arrays based on the values that they have? So let's say I want, um, I want type to have case. I want all the documents where the type array has at least one element, which is case. So I'm not saying don't have any other element. I'm saying one of these elements should be case. So how do I do that? I do that like the following, db.products.find. And this is where we state, we want type, like condition, type to have case. And we enter. And we get three different documents where let's just type the same condition here so we can so type is case just so we can have what okay so just so we can have a more visual um, result all right so here we have three documents each has a different array and this one is accessory case as well as this as well as this but as you can see we did not mention accessory we can however so if we want to say, all right, so if we want to say we, we want type that has the following, all of, I'll explain it in a minute, accessory and case. All right, so I want the documents that have all of these fields. So the all operator, what it does is that in, it involves all the fields within the array here, so it's a key value pair, it's the operator plus an array which has a, a, a series of fields. And these are the fields that we want to see within our, um, within our matched documents. 
Okay, so now we know how to match the contents of an array, the values within it, with um, our query. So now we know how to match arrays, either match a complete array or an array with some field names. So we want to match it having at least these field names. Okay, so here's another question. How do we query an array by size? So here we have this four array right here. So this here it has three values. Here it has five. Here it, it's only one value. It's not even an array. All right, so how do I query it by size? Let's say I want to get all the documents where the four array has a size of three. It has three different values. So here's how I would do it. So db.products.find. And then I would state four, which is the name of the field. And then size, it's size is an operator. And we define size to be three. So closing everything, we enter and we get simply one document. So it's this document right here. There's no other document where four has an array size of three. So this is how you query by size. So moving on, how do we apply um, so how do we apply conditions on the arrays and their values? So we're, I'm going to use a different sample collection. I'm going to go back to my database and I'm going to go to inventory. So this is from the actual documentation of MongoDB. So this is where I got it. So anyways, here's how, here's how we're going to do it. We want to specify conditions on arrays. So here we have tags which have strings within them, and we have dim centimeter, which has numbers or integers inside them. So we're going to query these. So we're going to query the integers just so we can get like a feel of how this really works, of how the conditions in MongoDB querying arrays works. All right, so if I want to apply a condition on the elements of an array, I want to get all documents where the dim centimeter array has at least one value greater than 14. Okay, so these are 14. We want the other options. So db dot, dot no, it's not products anymore. This inventory dot find, and then we match. So we match them and centimeter. So this is the field name with greater than 14. So we want at least one value within this array to be greater than 14, and we get this collection. Of documents right here so these are all the documents that have at least one with that is greater than 14 so this one has 15.5 uh, 22 30 21 okay so you get the point this is how you apply conditions everything else is adding the other operators that we've discussed in previous videos such as less than or equal such as in and then it's just playing around with it but now you know how to involve conditions within your querying within arrays. All right, so now we know conditions. What are we going to do next? Next, we're going to query arrays by index, meaning I want to put this condition, but this condition only holds for the first element within the array. So instead of saying, I want um, I want dim centimeter to, be, uh, to have at least one value greater than 14, no, I want dim centimeter to have a value greater than 14 at the first index for the first element. So how would I do that? It's very simple. All I have to do is use the dot operator of MongoDB, which is saying dot zero, meaning I want the first element of this array. And what I would do is simply go back to what I had and say greater than 14. And then we close, we enter, and we have an issue. Okay, so. So we have an issue. The issue here is simply to just put the field name within strings and then everything will be resolved. All right. And this is the only one that we get because in the other documents, the first, like here it's 10, the others it was 14. The first element had 14 and we want it to be greater than 14. So this is essentially how you would do it. This is how you would put conditions on specific indexes of the array. You know, you also know how to put conditions on any element in the array. You know how to match arrays. So this is basically it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to discuss queries on embedded documents. So the nested documents.